Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover how to do motor identification run, that is ID run for ABB ACS 580 drive. So without ado, let's get started. Here we can see the drive CDP or HMI you can say. It is mentioned ACS 580. And all the values are showing zero since the drive is in stop condition. Once we'll open the panel, we can see the most important components of the drive. So this is a stand alone unit of the drive. And this is the outgoing cable to the motor. And on the top, this is, these are bus bar incoming. And this is control unit. So there will be a separate video on that. And here you can see all the important parameters of the drive are mentioned. ACS 580, then 04, then current limit, which is very important and other factors. So there is a separate video on this, how to study this complete line. I'll mention in the description, the link for that video. So let's come back to the panel again. Here we have to go to menu button that is right side top and we have to go straight down to the parameters. It will be available at the bottom. So here it is the parameters. We have to select it and complete list we have to select. We need to press that button and for ID run we have to go to parameter number 99. So we have to go on the top, we'll have to press the top button. So it is a shortcut. Here we came, choose parameter number 99. That is motor data. Here we need to fill all this details and motor control mode for ID run, it has to be vector. We have to change it from scalar to vector. In other drive, it is DTC, direct torque control. So this is a must change. Next is motor current, nominal current. So here we can change. How to change, we can see here. Using all those buttons, we can change it. For example, it is 62, we have changed it to 61 and saved it. We need to save it and this once the ID run has to is started, you will get this uh, warning kind of notification. Just hide it and here we can fill the nominal speed. So if it is a slow speed motor, this can also be changed up down. Next, this is motor rating power. This is 350. So this can also be changed. So just for your reference, I'm showing all this. We need to save or we can cancel it as per the requirement. Later, all these things are not important and this is important. ID run is performed. Okay, so ID run requested. So there are different options and once the motor is in coupled condition, we have to select standstill. Otherwise, you can select normal also if it is free. So standstill is preferred. Selected. These things are not required for now. Okay. To change the direction here, we can change. U, W, W. We'll come back to the main display. Just we have to press the left button. So this is the main display and the system is in remote condition. We'll bring it to local by pressing this button, switching into local control. So once it is in local, all the values are zero. We have to press the start button. Here you can see the change in current, but the speed will remain zero because we have selected standstill. If you would have selected reduced or normal, so there will be change in nominal speed also, but RPM will remain zero in this case. You can see the variation of current. It will take some time. Why ID run is performed, there is a separate video on that. I will post the link and this is ID run is done. It won't take more than a minute. Later, we'll check all the parameters once again. So the process is same, menu. We'll go to parameters at the bottom. And one major difference is ID run requested. So it will, it has to be none. Motor data, parameter number 99. And all these values you can see. So we can bring this motor control mode back to scalar. Just save it. Or we can keep it a scalar itself or vector itself as per the requirement and the current you can see it's one 561 what i have changed and see id run requested it has by default it will come to none this parameter 
earlier it was standstill what we have selected and last id being performed stands so we have seen all the or checked all the parameters we'll come to the main screen once again and it is in local remote we can bring it back to remote so thank you for watching guys please like and subscribe